so what we're gonna do is we're going to set up wind link uh, this is not windows obviously but I do have a windows virtual machine set up we can begin to use this is what I use for WinLink. And it works fabulously. Flawlessly. It works absolutely wonderfully. Okie dokie. So, here it is. You can hear my... I have a MCHF QRP. 10 watt radio set up with an in-fed half wave and it is quite literally a 67 foot wire and that 67 foot wire has run out the window and it is run out to a tree so, I'm going to use WinLink Express. Let's make this full screen so that it looks like Windows. I don't want OneDrive signed in because I don't even like Windows. Uh, you see, I have the internet disconnected on this virtual machine. So. Vera HF Oh and you know what I think I need to go through and um, pass through a port Yeah I do Alright let's go back to the virtual machine Probably won't have to do this part You'll have to go to Let me go to my details here and add some hardware I'm gonna add a USB. I'm gonna add that USB interface back to my console. Back to full screen. So settings, radio setup, and you choose. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to reopen it. go to radio setup it's already set up but you would go to radio setup after you, you have to put in your, your settings your password and stuff right then you uh, get a radio setup and uh, the MCHF QRP is the same as the 817 and it's on COM 3 for me so we will actually let's not update it because it's right Alright. The Vara is down here. And we'll go to settings Vara TNC setup. I don't see nothing there. Sound card needs to be right. See we have line in and speakers. This needs to be my radio. And we'll close that. All right. So now we gotta do a channel selection. Now these channels are from a few days ago, so uh, but they're probably gonna be the same because it's about the same time of day. So I'm gonna go through here and just pick one. And my radio switched to the frequency. Oh, that's. We need a 40 meter frequency. Let's go with the WW4. Mm, what do you say? I need a 4 if possible. KF4 LXS. Alright. 7101. Alright. I'm going to hit tune on my radio. Because we're fixing to transmit. Alright. So. One thing you can do though, uh, your ALC gain should be 
right at the line or below it and you can key this thing up you can do a transmit level test and it will key the radio um, usually it does so you can do a transmit level test um, so there's that so we're gonna try and start this I have two in my outbox and I'm gonna hit start we're gonna see if it uh, it just transmitted there's a lot of noise a lot of noise there so let's go to the one I was using last night MSK which is on the same channel we'll try that guy oh you know what I have to set my microphone to digital on the radio. That's one thing I have to do. And I should have put a camera on the radio so you can see that. But all radios are different, so let's hit it now. My CPU usage is really high on this, but you can see that. But keep in mind, it's a virtual machine using one core of my CPU, so it's it's gonna let's abort that. That didn't work. Gives my call sign. Let's go on down. What about HJO? Let's try that one. Nothing. 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 Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just can't reach them, so you have to keep, you have to keep trying. Let's see, let's, it, the channel selection tells you where, uh, where you are and everything. I'm going to click update via radio. It's going to post an update request to my outbox because I don't have internet here on this virtual machine. I could put the internet on it, but well, let's do this. Uh, let's just start. Let's start at the top. Try four, try five, try six. It's it's not connecting. Throw out my call sign. Well, and we just learned why I absolutely, absolutely hate with a passion. We absolutely hate with a passion. Hold on, the repeater's doing its super slow call signs. Okay. Alright, so... I hate Windows. It's a virtual machine, right? But because... I uninstalled everything that came on it, it, it updates every day. It, that absolutely pisses me off. I cannot stand that. 
It makes me so angry. And I'm going to pull up here and I'm going to find Cortana or something re-enabled because I don't have internet. So it tried to fix it for me, you know. I disabled uh, the network adapter, which is a fake network adapter because it's a virtual machine. Oh, uh, you're here with me. You can watch it with me. What happened? Let's see what happened. What changed? Anything? Yep, all this came back. I had unpinned all of this crap, but it, it decided to come back. OneDrive won't sign in. Unpin. 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 Alright, get off my screen. I need to close and exit OneDrive. Sorry about this. Quit OneDrive. Close OneDrive. Uninstall that crap for all I care. Alright. Let's go back and try this again. It'll work this time. <clears throat> I kind of wish I had left it on the one it was on. I should look back in the video and see what that was. Uh, because Dummy M4RB. That's what it was. Alright, let's start a session with WM4RB. <laughs> Sounds like it's getting something. Let's open up the TNC. You see the request right here and the act. The act flashes when it's trying to connect. The request, look, see the data? That means I received data. See that data? Act is me. Okay, this means that something happened and it made a connection, right? So. And it's a very weak connection. You can hear it's it's very noisy. But um, you can read that there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna click continue to evaluate. Uh, eventually, when I save up seventy dollars, I'll send them seventy dollars uh, because it is great software. Vera is, and that's for Vera HF. That's a very bad signal very bad but it is still working it is still working see the signal to noise ratio is terrible right now I'm gonna hit DSP. That helped hitting DSP. It looks like my connection got messed up. Didn't quite work.
Looks like I gave him a call sign and disconnected on that one. All right. One in a hundred percent due to it probably would have worked. It would have took a little longer than normal, but because I was poking at the, I was poking at the screen, poking at the radio over there. It uh, it got all jacked up, and I I got it on lower sideband, and I couldn't get it back on upper sideband. It's called WW4 MSK. AK4ZX, you're up. KD2DO, you're up. Listen, there we go. All right. Send in. There we go. Now it's going to work. Connected to Rochester, New York. The signal to noise ratio is fairly low, but good enough. All right, right now it's checking the emails. Says it's got three to send. I'm sending. It's receiving. I'm sending. Signal came up a little bit. Looks like I got uh, three messages back. And one was rejected. So probably my uh, channel selection update was rejected. Maybe uh, maybe it's not my channels are not old enough or something. This should be almost done. going on but it's doing its thing
Okay, it's receiving a message now. So it, it's, I told it I had three messages to send, sent, and it told me there were three messages here. I told it I had three messages to send. It told me I was receiving three. And then I sent one, sent another, and then it looks like my update channel's request was rejected for some reason. I don't know. And then I uh, sent those three messages. It says sent two because one of them was an update request. Maybe that's what it is. And now I've received. We're receiving one. We're receiving one of the messages right now. All right, now we're receiving the second message. Signal, signal drop way down. It's coming back up though. It's 10 30, 10 40, almost 11 at night on 40 meters here. It is what it is. I'm South Carolina to New York on. Looks like we're doing about 7.5 watts. And it keeps transmitting every in between each, and it's saying, you know, either good copy or send it again or whatever. Literally running a very compromised antenna on a really low power radio I'm using battery oh that's a terrible signal terrible it dropped way down that time But it is still receiving. Well, it's almost, you can't even hear it now.
cut the bandwidth a little bit. As you can see here. That helped. Well, this has been the most, the longest this has ever taken, but I've sent three and I'm receiving three, so that's also probably the most I've ever done. Signal came back up, though. There we go. So I got all three. Now we'll do our checksums or whatever they do, and then it will disconnect and then call signs. Total messages sent two, total received three. KG4 and WECD ID, CW ID, and then we're done. Okay, and that's how that works. Uh, you have to you have to dig around to find a station you can connect to, you know. It's just like calling CQ. Looks like we got an undelivered message. This message I sent to KG4 and D. It looks like I sent it to myself with no email address. Well, that was my fault. Uh, this one sent. Wait, what? Undeliverable to com. Call sign is not known or is invalid. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, got that email address wrong, it looks like, also. Uh, this one. <laughs> I sent a friend and said this was sent 5 watts with my radio. And then he said, got it sent from my iPhone. <laughs> and kr 4 and is getting his. Oh, he, can't get to Vera to work quite right. Um, okay, so he's telling that probably, but uh, or he sent it from Yahoo. So uh, that's how we do that. I'm gonna find a different station maybe that's got a better signal. I'll keep going down the list, see if I can receive those updates. Let's try this. Sounds like a clear channel. No, there's something on that. There's something on that frequency there. I don't know what it is, but it sounds weird. KX4Z, are you gonna be my savior? I think so. Sending data. Not getting a response. Sending. Mm, looks like it can't hear me very well.
made a connection. And to get this message again, I'm gonna have to send them 70 bucks next weekend. But like most Americans, I'm living by the week right now. Alright, it looks like... Oh, there's a terrible interference. Okay, so my service inquiry is coming back to me now. So I may receive my new channel selection list. That'll be great. That'll be absolutely great if I can do that. Is this still working? We still online? Alright. I also have set up uh, JSA Call and uh, FTL, FTL Digi, FL Digi, and WSJTX. Um, I don't have the login software set up yet, so um, but we'll we'll see if we can get that done. Right. Do we Oh it's receiving now. It's receiving Leaving a new channel list, hopefully. And that's going to take a while. But when it does finish, it will go to... open it and check it and everything and then I'll have a new channel selection list but not to bore anybody about that I hope you have a great day JG4 and WE with me 73's